So 500 people ask me, but can the Red Magic 11 Pro play the All Mods 10 mod pack? Well, the Red Magic 10 Pro can. And, well, today we're gonna check out to see if the Red Magic 11 Pro can as well. What the heck is that thing? So, before further ado, and I show you how I got all mods 10 working on the Red Magic 11 Pro. Hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell, hit that comment section, and enjoy watching me wonder what all mods 10 is really about. Because I guess it works, and I'm getting like 200 plus FPS with all mods 10 mod pack. Thing I'm reaching, but dang, I didn't even really do anything to get it to work. So that is right, mobile gamers that like to play Java Minecraft on their Android devices. I'm gonna tell you right now, you probably won't get to play this mod pack unless you have a phone like mine okay and the reason why i'm saying this is because i don't want kids coming here and be like oh it doesn't work for me well it probably doesn't now we're gonna check out the red magic 11 pro in a second here and we're also gonna check out performances and stuff like that i'm not gonna use like the same seed but i am gonna show you how i got it configured and set up i didn't change anything didn't take out any, any mods the only thing i did do is i configured the create mod which is something you have to do to get the create mod to work so that that you can play basically all tens pens all 10 mods pack yeah whatever this mod pack is called <laughs> all the mods 10 now i don't really understand what this mod packs hype is somebody told me that it's just because it has a whole bunch of mods in it i guess and i'm going to just show you how we got it going and we're going to just see what kind of performances we get. Now you can see that the performances on the bottom left hand side of the screen before I jumped out of this game were pretty good, but here we go. So I'm going to put this over here. I was using Zeth Launcher for this one, but what I'm going to do, we're going to see how hot this thing is getting. No, it's not getting too bad. Is we're going to grab the Red Magic 11 Pro like I showed in the thumbnail and we're going to jump over to Amethyst, okay? Now Amethyst, I'm going to go into my settings, Java tweaks. This phone I can set up around 8,000 megabytes. So we're going to try that. Let's go 8,008. Video renderer, I'm going to change this down to 75%. Not sure why it was all the way down to 25. Extra renderer settings, I have it at 128. I have my extensions turned on and that's about it we're gonna go download this mod pack we're gonna do everything just raw okay as raw as possible while i talk and while you subscribe to the channel again you should subscribe to the channel sub sub subscribe to the channel subscribe to the channel and the reason why is because i am giving away some java minecraft accounts this holiday season and i'm also going to be announcing a huge christmas giveaway soon on the channel for amethyst players yeah very cool right so amethyst players you're gonna hear a big big notification coming soon and the amethyst team is actually working with me with this they just haven't announced something yet and i'm going to tell you what it's all about eventually not right now right mr duck quack is it a bird or is it a duck or is it a chicken now that that's installed now the one big thing about any neoforge packs is that you have to install neoforge first for amethyst i don't know what's going on with amethyst but amethyst you have to install it manually so i already have neoforge installed i'm just going to select the all mods 10 pack select this folder and i'm going to make sure i'm selecting mobile glues click save and we're gonna rotate the phone not click on all these buttons i don't know what i just did there anytime i rotate the phone i touch a whole bunch of stuff we're gonna make sure nothing else is running I also have Amethyst set up in my, uh, basically my Red Magic game space, okay? So this is gonna be game space, and we're going to just press play. We're gonna wait for this, and again, this is all gonna be raw. We're gonna mess around with this and see what we can get going. And I might even connect a controller at the end because I got the All Mods 10 working on my Red Magic 10 Pro. So I should be able to get it working on here, right, bro? Yeah, that's right, bro. We should be able to get it working on here. <laughs> now that's a good sign. Now, if you don't know if your actual, don't know if your actual game is doing anything, you can click the settings cog and then you can go to log output and you can watch the logs actually doing stuff and just wait for the logs to finish running before you go on to your next steps. Just a kind of a pointer. If you're trying to download mod packs and you're like, I don't know if it's working, if it's frozen on the Mojang screen. Well, this is how you do it. Just basically wait and then it'll say, hey, done loading, we're at the Mojang intro screen. Okay, it took 84 seconds to start. Now we are at this screen. This screen is telling us, hey, create mod does not work with pojav launcher and they still recognize this as pojav launcher which i know that so what you're gonna do is go to mods 
you're gonna go search out let's turn off the gui az or Z if you're in canada which i am and you're gonna look for the crate mod click on the config file go to access config of other mods and then you're going to search for the flywheel backend so open up the keyboard type in flywheel which is right there and close your gui go to client config go to the default settings here go to keyboard and erase all this and go to off now click save click confirm and you're going to click back back again back again go back again done and single player now let's go force log output and see if everything is doing what it's supposed to do. And here we go. So we are at this screen. The last time I did this on the Red Magic 10 Pro, it actually kicked me out of this screen and put me back in the other screen. But we're going to go with hard mode, create new world, and see how long it takes to load. And here we go. All right. Let's grab the Game Seer controller. This is a new Game Seer controller. Unreleased yet, by the way. Stay tuned for a video about this. This controller was sent to me for review, and this isn't my review. This is just me using it and testing things out. Now, again, we can't check out, I don't know if they have a mod for checking the video settings here. Oh, they do. They do have, they have Sodium Extra. Can I show the FPS? Hello, FPS show, enable. Well, I can show the FPS by using the F3 menu, I guess, but hello, hello. How you doing? We're using, <laughs> we're playing with all mods 10. I could not get this mod pack working on um, a couple other devices I tried this on. I'm gonna try this on my Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 12 gigabyte device and see if I can crank out the actual um, RAM allocation. Cause that's a big thing too, is this mod pack is huge. And I think that's why a lot of people like this mod pack just to see what this mod pack can do. And if it actually can, you know, crank out the performances that you want it to crank out. I say crank out, but I know some people might not like that. It, fine, just, you know, what this mod pack can do, this mod pack. I, I, I don't know what I'm up against with this mod pack either, by the way, I've said this a couple times now, I think, but um, there's just probably so much that people are probably like, you're not even doing it right. I'm like, I don't really care because I don't know what this is. I just wanted to see because people kept asking me but can it play all mods 10? And I'm like, I don't know, maybe it will. And here it is, okay? There's all mods 10. How long did this take total? Well, it took about, I don't know, maybe six, seven minutes to fully get this going, I guess. We'll, we'll have to find out when I do post editing and check everything out. Um, when it comes to the debug screen, let's open that up for a second, turn off this UI. What are we getting for FPS? We're getting 60 FPS ish on the top left hand side. And that's with what I have it set to right now. I haven't really changed any configurations. And I think this is only like four render distance at 75% resolution using mobile glues. I don't know what version of mo. Hey, what is this thing? Ow. Ow again. What is this? Looks interesting. Um, yeah, there you go, guys. Oh, this is a little trailer. I know what these are. I've seen these before. Uh, it's a little like wagon or something, and there's usually some stuff in here. What a good way to start this. You guys think I should do a playthrough? You want me to do a playthrough? If you want me to do a playthrough, comment in the section below. I want you to do a playthrough and see what this mod pack is all about. I've actually been enjoying some RL craft lately on this phone because it's been doing really well, honestly. And I think that new mod packs are pretty fun, okay? And I think just seeing what new mod packs can do is pretty fun too, especially when you have the Red Magic 11 Pro. Again, remember that is the device that we're using here today. If it doesn't work for you, do not expect it to work for you on your Helio G99 Mali G57 GPU. If it does, they call me a liar, but I think it's something that we might have to work on when it comes to mod packs. 